What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. Today we're going to be talking about the all new legends that are going to be coming to Ultimate Team. Now as always, you can always go into the solos once they're released. Make sure you guys are doing this if you want the actual power-ups, okay? Now, with the way that they've been doing it with the limited time players like the Patrick Willis and the Bo Jackson, those have actually been the limiteds. So those solos are separate. Okay, for those of you guys that are asking about it, you have to go to the mat the limited time Mutt 10, and then you'll see the one that's there for the limited time. It's not like when they first started the year off and it was like a limited time kicker, punter, that stuff. It's gonna be separate. And then obviously you're gonna get your tokens and things of that nature that will ultimately give you a free card at the end of the year. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna be talking about right now. We have to figure out with ourselves, with our teams, are these players worth it? Now, Alan Page was a star in 19. Um, Mawai has always been pretty good, but I want to talk about some of the specifics, all right? Because it, this is a situation where I don't know if it would make sense for me to go away from my player. Like Linval Joseph is a goon, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff uh, that's actually going on right now. Let's go ahead and... Um, you know, to make it easier for everybody, we're going to go to the actual squad and then we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that's going on, kind of give you guys an idea of what's happening because he was so good that people, you know, oh, bro, you got to go ahead and get him again. I keep telling you guys, you do not need to go after these players. You do not have to do that. Um, pretty much when you look at Linval Joseph, you know, 70 speed, this guy has 78 speed. So that's a huge upgrade with Alan Page. But like I told you, with the strength factor, that's also something that's very, very important to understand that when it comes down to it, with this game, when it's like pound for pound and it's like you're lining up against the other team and it's like, look, I got to get in there. This dude usually does stuff that's pretty crazy and miraculous. Now, I also have other issues because when people get outside the pocket, he's not fast enough to get them. 78 speed may or may not be fast enough, but keep in mind, Alan Page has an 85 strength. All right, so that tier, when you power it up, will be 86, so that'll be in that tier. This guy is 90 to 94 tier. All right, so that's already a different level, okay? The finesse moves might be something that ultimately gets Alan Page on the squad, okay? Because 88 finesse moves for a D tackle, that's probably gonna get dudes in the backfield kind of fast. All right, like I'm not even gonna sit up here and set trip. Dudes is probably gonna be in the backfield ASAP like Rocky. All right, 85 block shedding. So he has the 85 block shedding and he has the 88 finesse moves. Those are huge upgrades, okay? The tackles are 85, that's also a huge upgrade. So what happens is I love me some Linval Joseph, but these, these attributes and these stats, and keep in mind he's 6'4", and he's like a slim fit. See, I don't know how they're gonna build his character for Madden 20, but for those of you guys that's been riding with me since Madden 19, you know that they made his body, like his archetype, everything about him, he was like very, very slim. So they made him a lot faster. He was able to run down the quarterback, um, regardless of how fast the quarterback is. And obviously, we all know that with escape artists, bruh, dudes are, look, I, I played a guy yesterday, like I have Steve Young as well, but I don't run around like that. The dude hiked the ball and just like, it was a lightning bolt that shocked him in his butt cheeks and he flew to the left side of the screen and ran for like 25 yards. And that's with Lawrence Taylor on that side. Now granted, I didn't have him in the contain. The contain usually works pretty well. Um, for those of you guys that are having issues with the contains, it's simply just L1 and R1 this year. L1, R1, and, that, and it contains it. And that's pretty much it, all right? Um, that was something that was kind of wild. Now, I don't know if this guy, because he has a 78 speed on his base card. He would go to 79 speed powered up. I don't know if I do that, like power him up or whatever, and with a 79 speed at D tackle with those stats, would it make him that much more glitchy? You know what I'm saying? Like, would it make him that much better? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if his strength factor at 86, at that tier, allows him to get off the block and get in for runs, which, I, you know, I, like, I'm very, very, like, I really want to try it because... Like I said, I know that, you know, that Madden 10 card, like Michael Vick is going to be somewhere around that, okay? And Michael Vick is going to be, he's going to make a lot of controllers get smashed and a lot of consoles be like in the garbage the next day because dudes are going to start smashing everything around them because when he gets his escape artist, he's going to be up the field for six. The only way you're going to be able to stop that is by having the fastest people on your D-line. You're going to have to spy certain people. Now, remember, when they hike the ball, and they just run straight up. If you have somebody in a spy and you send the spy immediately, 
they will they, they'll go right after him another next level pro tip you got to start leaving corners and spies you know what i'm saying like run some like run some coverages with like where you can have a corner and a spy and it kind of nullifies the escape artist but then if you're playing somebody that's running the ball heavy and doing escape artists now it becomes a guessing game because if you start spying your corners, you're gonna get beat deep and it's gonna be some wild stuff going on. So I like the fact that Madden 20 opens up that world. Um, I don't really care if it's patched or not because I've lost games to escape artists, but I've also won games using escape artists, but not like the way that you know everybody else does it, just hike the ball and just run, but I've been able to avoid tacklers and throw a dot. So it works both ways. I don't care, like I said, I'm not the kind of guy, oh bro, patches, I don't care about that. The last thing that I wanted patched that was like really, really urgent was in Madden 09 with the QB walk. When the dude just became invisible and just went to the end zone and hiked it and there was a touchdown. Like if it's in the game, I try to find ways to beat it so that, that you know, you get a you get an opponent that wants to run it and you can still beat him with it. So with Linval Joseph, that's gonna be pretty interesting because even with like the power moves, this guy is just outright better than Linval Joseph in power moves, block shot, and finesse moves. Those have to be very, very high factors uh, when you're looking at uh, the defensive side of the ball. So this guy might be somebody that we need to actually put on the team. Now, we could keep Linval Joseph, just move him over to the, uh, the other D-tackle position, and then just have uh, Alan Page as the starter. We could do that, or we could rage sell him effective immediately. Whichever way that you know we feel that we need to go on, but I have to continue to look more into it. But it looks like, overall, Alan Page is going to be causing havoc the same way he did uh, in Madden 19. So, you know, for everyone that's watching this video, get prepared for that. That'll be dropping very, very soon. All right, so now that that part is uh, discussed, we're gonna go to Kevin Mawai. All right, now, remember, these players are next level tier players, because when you get to the 90, that's a completely different type of level. All right, the way that they move, the way that they block, everything that they do is absolutely different. So you have to pay attention to those things. That's very, very important, but for me, it makes more sense for me to know that Travis Frederick coming off of, you know, the, um, he had some health issues. Hopefully he's doing well right now. Uh, he comes back and he just plays like a stud. He's going to be getting upgrades continuously throughout the year where we, we would have to wait for Kevin Mawai to get his. That's usually what happens with the, um, the legend factors, which is why they give them such high overall ratings to start. Like he's a 90, so by the time that Travis Frederick gets to a 90, you know, they could probably give him an upgrade later on after that and everybody's happy. All right, like that's pretty much the way that they work it. So if you guys are like, yo man, if I get a legend, you know, is he gonna get upgraded? Probably not as often as, you know, the way EA has been doing it this year. If the players play well, it looks like EA is inclined to give them their upgrades a lot faster. All right, so let's look at some of Kevin Mawai's uh, situations. Both, first of all, they're both 6'4". Uh, Kevin Mawai's stock uh, strength is an 88, which goes to an 89. His awareness is an 88. Okay, this guy's an 87. The pass block is an 87, all right? Now, for pass blocking, I don't know if I've seen Travis Frederick get shedded up the middle yet. Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't think I've seen that. I know that sometimes Tyron Smith or even um, my, my, my man Lane Johnson, dudes just be screaming, but that's LT and also um, Von Miller. But I haven't seen him get shedded up the middle yet, so I have, to, I have to keep an eye out for that. The pass block power is an 86. All right, for Kevin Mawai. Pass block finesse is an 87. So that's 10, that, that's next level tier for the pass, you know, for the pass blocking, obviously. Now the run block is what scares me, okay? Because he goes right to a 90, which goes to a 91 with Kevin Mawai, all right? The run block power goes to an 89, all right? Run block footwork goes to, eight, run block finesse, I mean, that goes to an 88. So overall, Kevin Mawai is a ridiculously serious business type of center, okay? Now, remember, he's a Jet player. To my knowledge, he never played for the Cowboys. I can't now go and get rid of what I've been formatting because what happens is this, right? The way that I have my O-line set up, if I start doing this, I'm gonna have to change everything. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to start to revamp everybody and just put like, you know, the best players and whatever and just not even care. I'm, I'm looking forward to these players like, like um, Travis Frederick, Tyron Smith, like anybody that's Dallas Cowboys, I know that I have core players that are Dallas Cowboys that, that they're, they're pretty good, like Brian Waters, you know what I'm saying? Like he's Kansas City, but he played for the Cowboys. If I start putting other players in, now with this, the way that this is gonna work out for me, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now granted, I could get Kevin Mawai and get rid of this guy and still keep the strength on Tyron Smith. 
You see what I'm saying? But I, I know for a fact that based on the way the Cowboys are going to be playing, especially if they don't get Zeke back early, it might not work out the way everybody thinks. Okay, if they get Zeke back, I think that they'll get the upgrades and all that stuff, especially from like, you know, week one of the um, of the season. Because again, Pollard or whatever his name is, I don't know what his name is, bro, the rookie, whatever, fourth round pick, that guy, okay, we all understand he's doing pretty well preseason status, bro. We know when the regular season starts, whole different ball game. So we're gonna have to see some things about that. Um, it, it is something that I could update, all right? It's something that I could say, you know what? Let's start building around it because I've seen with my own eyes, bro, that lead block and impact block, but I can't see that right now for Kevin Mawai, but I've seen the impact that lead block and these things have. So if it, if it looks like our run game will get to the next level, it's something that I would consider. Now remember, EA has been playing around and patching the game and doing weird things with the game where a lot of the things like, you know, secure protectors stop working the same way. We have to get that off immediately. Keep in mind, the game changes, guys. It changes. So you have to evolve. You can't stay doing the same thing. Every time a patch comes out, I'm going to alert you to what I see and then we have to move accordingly. If you choose not to do it, that's fine. I'm, look, I'm not forcing anyone to change their team, but I will let you know when I notice things that are different, like the 89 bow plays better than the full legend bow. Like those things, and you guys see what I'm talking about, and you're like, oh yeah, he's right. I don't want you to waste unnecessary money. That That's my point. If you guys are wasting unnecessary money and unnecessary coins and unnecessary training, it makes the game less fun, all right? So right now, lead block, is unbelievably ridiculous so this guy has an 83 right at center uh, you can see brian waters has the 86 but he's also one of the theme diamonds all right if kevin mawai is at like 90 it would probably make sense for us to get him okay because that lead block is going to be something that's going to be so major it's ridiculous and th th those are the things that i'm trying to talk about like where's tyron smith at what's that guy's lead block see his lead block is kind of disgusting too that might have issues but he also has other things that makes him better but based on the way that my fullbacks play with the 90 tier uh lead block that might be something to consider for kevin mawai all right i just want to point that out so there will be a lot of changes going on and we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go along because if they patch the game and it changes all of this We'll still have cards that have value. We can get rid of it right before everything goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like Larry Allen at this point, he's much better than Zach Martin simply because most of his numbers are just outrageous. And it's crazy that he's a stock 91 strength. So he had to get caught right away. It just happened that he was a Dallas Cowboy and it was working for the additional strength. You see what I'm saying? But again, we can still build our teams based around the run game and pass like crazy. Not a big deal, guys. We just have to make sure, like I said, we are gonna continue to evolve and get our teams better. Everything else doesn't matter. We gotta be the better team when we go out on the field. If we lose, GG's, we're done. You know what I'm saying? All right, you got us. But we're gonna keep evolving as the game gets patched because EA is doing something and fine tuning the game and changing certain aspects of it and we just have to stay up to speed with it. And I'm gonna make sure that every single person that watches my videos knows exactly what's going on with the tuning and the patching. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.